My heart skipped a beat when my ex told me that he never stopped loving me. He made a mistake 10 years ago, and I no longer hold it against him, now we're here giving a go at it again. My ex, whom we'll call Mike, and I were together since we were 14 and got married at 22. We have two kids together. My ex's work takes him all over the country for a week every quarter. On one of those trips, he hooked up with one of his co-workers. I never thought he could do something like that because our relationship was really solid. He confessed immediately after he got home. I actually would have never found out if he hadn't. He begged me for forgiveness, said that he still loved me and that it was a lapse in judgment, but said he would understand if I wanted a divorce, which is what eventually happened. It was very amicable, and he actually gave me more than I expected, house, child support, and alimony. It was a slow process, but over the years, we became friends again and have a good co-parenting dynamic. Mike's a great father, and the kids still love him. I got married three years later, and he was actually very supportive. I divorced my second husband two years ago because he changed his mind about kids. I wanted one last baby. Since the lockdown, Mike has been over frequently. At this point, our relationship is so good that we do not need to enforce any of the set visits and such. Well, things have been getting hot between us for the last few months, and we started sleeping together. I'm a woman with needs too. And to be very honest with you guys, he's still the best guy I've been with after all these years. It's like our bodies were made for each other. He always joked that we were like Prime Pippin and Jordan in bed, and when he said that again, it felt like we were back 10 years ago when we were still together. It was supposed to be just physical, but here we are. Just a few hours ago, he brought up the idea of us getting back together. He gave me the most genuine speech about how stupid he was the night he cheated and how he never stopped loving me in the last 10 years. I was speechless and couldn't say anything, so he just gave me his usual toothy smile and said, it's okay, I'll wait before driving home. Now I'm lying here in bed, typing this out. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I didn't love him. I'd be lying if I said the last few months weren't the happiest I've been in years. And I'd be lying if I said I never forgave him for cheating. I told him years ago that I already did. If I had to decide right now, I'd jump out of bed, drive to his house, and bring him home. It's taking all my willpower not to do so. I love him. However, I also want to think with my brain here. There are pros to taking him back. He's a great dad, and the kids would have him around more. He's a great provider. He says he still wants kids. And I still love him. Any advice on how I should proceed? Update 1. The morning after I posted, I texted Mike, saying that I needed time and space to think about everything. He then replied, I've waited 10 years, I can wait a bit longer. My heart melted. When the kids woke up, our son was looking for his dad. He's at the age now where he pretty much idolizes his dad. I get why, though, Mike is an amazing dad. Our daughter gave me the stink eye all morning. After lunch, when our son was in his room playing video games, my daughter confronted me about Mike. She basically said that she knew there was something going on and that she didn't want our fighting to affect their lives. She thought we were fighting. Now, the divorce has affected her, but not as badly as expected. We made sure to get her counseling immediately after, and we made sure her life was as normal as possible. I'm not going to delude myself and think she wasn't hurt by it, but I'm pretty confident in saying we dealt with it pretty well, or as well as we could. I then had the conversation about how we weren't fighting but quite the opposite. We were thinking about getting back together. She thought about it for a while and said she was happy for us and hoped it was forever this time. The next day, I dropped my kids off at my parents' house so I could talk to Mike at his place. We had a long talk about how we felt about each other and what we planned to do about it going forward, and as many of you suggested, what he planned to do next time we hit a rough patch, especially since we plan on having a third kid. He told me that the night he cheated still haunted him 10 years later. He told me how it wasn't worth it one bit and how it was the biggest mistake of his life. He said that if ever we hit a rough patch again, we would talk about it like adults. He even suggested we do couples counseling every now and then, even when times are good. I like this idea. There are some details about our conversation that I want to keep private, but, long story short, we got back together. We are going to take it slow, and in every step we take, we both agree that our children will take priority over everything. He's not going to move in yet, but he would spend a few nights a week at home with us. Later that night, we sat the kids down and broke the news. The daughter didn't say much because she already knew, but our son was over the moon. Since we divorced when he was a baby, the concept of both his parents being together was quite new to him. They obviously asked questions, and we answered them. We're also planning on doing family counseling to make the transition easier for everyone. Overall, I'm really happy right now. Mike made a mistake 10 years ago, but I don't hold it against him and have completely forgiven him for it. I know he loves me now and won't cheat on me anymore. I'm back together now with the love of my life and the father of my kids, and I couldn't be happier. As I type this out, Mike is in the next room playing video games with our son. I'm not entirely sure what the future will look like, but I'm happy he's back.